In this Python tutorial we're going to look at how to make a rock paper scissors game that will play the uh, player, the user, against the computer. Now it's pretty straightforward, all it involves is a random uh, generator, um, input from the user and then a bunch of if and elif statements to decide on the winner. So it's pretty straightforward but it's good to get your head around uh, if statements and selection um, in a more fun and engaging way through the use of a game. So, first thing we need to do is from random import rand int. Okay, that just means we can um, import, means we can use the random integer um, function. Uh, we need to set up the three options. So we've got obviously rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to say choice equals open close square brackets and then in here we're going to do rock paper in fact we'll make these lowercase just to save converting them all to lower um, and scissors so we've got rock paper scissors um, set up in a, um, a list and then we're going to use this list to pull a random a random choice out. So in position zero it's rock, position one it's paper, and position two is scissors. So computer's choice is going to be equal to um, rand int uh, let's see it's going to be choice sorry choice open close brackets, square brackets, random int and then from zero to two. So I'll just run over this again. So computer setting up a variable and then it's going to be assigned a value from this list, from the choice list. And that value, we could obviously just say 0, 1, 2, or 0, 1, or 2, which would be 0, 1, 2. Um, but what we need to do is get a random choice each time. So we call the random int function, and then it's going to ask for the two integers, the beginning and the end. So 0, 1, and 2. So from here, Let's just give it a quick test. Let's print computer's choice. Give it a run. So it prints paper. Let's run it again. And it prints scissors. So we know it's working randomly. So I can get rid of this. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put this further down because now we're going to get the choice from the user. So a quick little prompt. Let's do print. Welcome to the rock paper scissors game. And uh, put a new line. Uh, then we're going to get an input from the from the player. So player's choice. We'll just player equals input. Open close brackets. Your choice, and we're going to give them the choice. I'm going to force uh, their choice to be uh, all lowercase, just in case they type a capital. And when we compare lowercase to capital, it is different in the computer's eyes. So. The player is going to input their choice and we're going to force it to be lower. So if they were to type in rock with the capital R, it would force it to be lower R. Simple as that. Um, and then we can print out what the computer's choice is. So we can then say print computer chose and then just append their choice to the end of this. So let's give this a run and see how it works so far. So welcome to the rock, paper, scissors game. Your choice. Let's go rock, computer chose paper. Brilliant. So we've got the player's choice, we've got the computer's choice. Now what we need to do is start to decide who wins based on what outcome from the uh, random integer uh, and the player's choice. So we'll start off with an if, and we're going to start off with the draw. So if player is equal to computer, then we'll just print draw. Okay, that's obviously the easiest one we can go through if player is the same as computer. Now we need to start putting in a bunch of elifs. Um, there are different ways to do this. Um, it can be more efficient to do it a different way where we have else and then ifs nested into each other. Uh, but this way is going to set it out and do it step by step so we can go through the possible scenarios in which there could be a computer or a player winner. So else if uh, player, if that variable equals rock, and computer variable equals uh, paper. So from this, if the player chooses rock and the computer chooses paper, then in this situation the computer wins. So we can print 
computer wins. LF, the player chooses rock, and the computer chooses scissors this time around. Um, then we're going to print player wins. So we've done the scenario where the player chooses the rock. Now we need to do a scenario where the player chooses paper. So if player chooses paper and computer chooses rock, then we can print player wins. LF player chooses paper and the computer instead uh, chooses scissors. Then the outcome from that would be that the computer wins. Computer wins because paper cuts, uh, scissors cuts paper. And then the final scenario, well, final two scenarios is that if the player chooses scissors and the computer chooses rock, then print computer wins. And the final LF player chooses again scissors. And the computer this time chooses paper. Then the player wins. So player wins. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if we run this now, this should work. Fingers crossed. I'm pretty sure it's. I'm confident it will. So if we choose rock, uh, the computer chose scissors, and the player wins. Let's run this again, just to make sure it is actually being uh, random. So your choice. Let's say we choose paper this time. Uh, the paper chose scissors, the computer wins. So from here, there's obviously lots of different ways, uh, different things we could do to this to make sure it's uh, either written in as few lines as possible um, and is m more efficient. We can have a slightly different setup for the selection process of determining who's the winner. So let's say um, if this is the scenario that happens, so I chose scissors and the computer chooses paper, it has to go through all of these ifs um, before it gets to this one. Now we could set up that if the player chooses paper, scissors and then have a sub um, selection inside this one, then it would only run to there. If not, then it would skip them and go to a different selection. So obviously you can change that um, to be more efficient, but a, li a program that's only 24 lines long um, really doesn't uh, have an impact at all on efficiency. Um, from here obviously we're running it once and we have to run it every time. So what we could do is uh, set this in a def main, set this in a function and at the end of the function itself we can just call itself, so main, but obviously we've got to call it the first time when it runs. So now uh, down in the terminal here, your choice, rock Computer wins, your choice, paper, player wins, your choice, paper, draw. So you can see here, it'll, it'll just loop forever. But there we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, learned something from this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one.